biggest, like, biggest difference in adjustment uh, you have to make in playing one position versus the other? Um, I think scheme-wise is, is pretty similar, um, but technique-wise is a little bit different as far as the tackle pass set versus a guard and things like that. Uh, so, you know, learning that the first week was, was a little difficult for me, but uh, Coach Moore has been helping me in practice, and, you know, Adam's been teaching me and helping me, so I feel like I've been able to improve. How much additional respect of the quarterback earn when you see him go through what he did to, to play today? Oh, definitely Chad's a tough player. You know, he's a leader on this team to see him, you know, fight through that adversity was definitely a courageous performance in my mind and to see him keep coming back out there and trying to really, I think inspired the rest of us. Does that add more pressure on the offensive line to protect the guy when you know he's wounded? Uh, I don't know if it adds more pressure. We always, you know, our goal every game is to not let Chad get touched and, you know, open big holes for all the running backs. So uh, definitely, I, I think if he's hurt, you know, we it puts more emphasis on not letting him get touched, but we don't want to, we don't want him to get touched in any game. Was your impression of Carlos over in Illinois as he stepped in and really missed a beat? Um, definitely uh, proud of Carlos. I mean, he's he's a tough worker. He always works hard in the weight room and you know in the off season. So for him to be able to, you know, get a chance there with injuries and definitely, I think he stepped up. I think he did a really good job. What do you expect to hear from Mike this week, knowing he had to sit out on a prime time game? I mean, that's the kind of stage he wants to flourish. Yeah, I mean, Mike's obviously the captain of the team, you know, the leader. So he, he I sure he wanted to play. Uh, the injury didn't let him. I'm sure he's going to want to get back as fast as he can and, and continue. You know, so I, I don't really know what I expect to hear from him necessarily, but I, you know, I expect that he'll want to play. Was there extra motivation for the offensive line to want to still be able to run the football even though he was? Uh, definitely, you know, our goal is to run the football every game. You know, it's, you know, it's a sign of toughness if we can run the ball. So, you know, no matter who the running back is, we want to be able to open up holes for them. And we feel that if we're able to do that, then uh, the running back should be successful. So. Last week we had four guys come up here and guarantee Mike Hart was going to play. <laughs> Any guarantees this no. <laughs> Uh, I think we learned early in the season not to take any team for granted, so we're definitely just going to prepare for them like it's like any other game we prepare for. And you know, um, you know, coaches are going to get us into a good game plan, and we're going to do the best we can to execute. Did Illinois throw anything that you guys weren't expecting to see? Um, as far as not expecting to see, I don't know really. I mean, they they were definitely a great defense, though. I think one of the best defenses we've played all year. They showed us a lot of things. They were tough. They were big. They were strong. Uh, as far as scheme wise, I don't know, you know, but I definitely think they they came ready to play. How does Ballack compare in the huddle, like you know, some of his early games to this past game when he was in here? How was he? Um, I think Mallet uh, is very mature for his age. Definitely, he has a lot of leadership capability, a lot of, a lot of leadership qualities that he brings to the huddle. I don't think. I don't think we miss a beat with with Chad, uh, with Chad or Ryan in there. I think they both uh, have the ability to control the huddle and uh, maintain our focus.